Welcome back, this is Bobby Scuba with Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I'm joined as always by Vash, Limea, and, and Kyra. It's, it's kind of hard to tell what order they're in today, because th they're just kind of standing around. So, when we last left off, we were just outside the Hecran Cave. We need to go this way in order to get back to the town of Truce and, and Guardian Kingdom, you know, home. Death to the Mystic's enemies! Oh, okay, so we're one step in, and we're already in a fight against henches. So I know that they said there were going to be enemies here that couldn't uh, be hit by normal weapons. Just had to had to use magic against them. Those those weren't the enemies. But we did learn a dual tech that I'm not familiar with, to be honest with you. I don't remember. Uh, th th they are showing uh, the next... Uh, the next text for Vash is Spin Cut, Cure's on the way for Limea, Napalm's on the way for Kyra. But I got the Dual Tech Antipode. Antipode. It, it attacks enemies. I'm not, not exactly sure what it is. I have to assume that it's something with water and fire together now that we do have magic on everybody. So, well, I'll, I'll try to use that next chance I get. But... I'm gonna... well... what am I even trying to say? I don't even know. I will try to use that next chance I get, but there's probably gonna be a lot of enemies where I, I don't use that. We get an ether out of the chest, which is always appreciated. Now we can just keep going. I see... A, okay, I wanted to look in the jar, but instead the jar is an enemy, and it looks like we have nothing but new enemies here. What do we have? We have a gin bottle and octoblushes. Now, like they said, can I use that on everybody? Okay, we're going to use it on that thing because that thing is insane. Go lightning! Kill the gin bottle. Down it goes. So, let's try to attack these. Let's see if these uh, these are also the ones that uh, can't be uh, can't be attacked using regular weapons. Uh, it's hard to say. Hard to say. You know, 20 damage is pretty damn good, actually. Let's try to finish that one off. Yeah, down it goes. Okay, so these are not the enemies that I was thinking of, but let's use Antip Antipode anyway. I don't know how to say it. I'm going with Antipode. See her. She uses ice. Kara uses fire. And down they go. That should be definitely enough to kill them both. 118 experience, 5 tech points. 155 gold, I think I said. And I'll level up for Vash. That puts him up to 14, I believe. Either way, we are we are moving on. And we're gonna go down here and fight more new enemies. These guys came out of nowhere. Uh, are, are these also like not... These are Temporites. Okay, these are definitely the enemies that they're like, hey, use use magic against these. That I can do. We'll see. Fire and ice. Unfortunately, it is just against one enemy. You can't use it against everybody yet. Yeah, it better be enough to finish them off. Otherwise, I'm going to be pissed. Luckily, I do have quite a few ethers still. So that should hold me over. 64 experience points and 4 tech points. Nice. 90 gold. A lever up. Level up for Kyra. Apparently I'm having trouble with words today. Words. They, they get to me. Damn it. Okay, that looks like the way out. So let's go this way. And here we can get a mid ether. Now I'm confused though, so hold on. Yes, I definitely want to go down this way first. Forgot for a second there. Which way? There were too many ways. So we're going to go down this way first. And we are going to fight more new enemies. We have... Uh, Rollies, pulleys, something like that. Prolies, roly pulleys. Okay, um, are you guys also immune to physical attacks? Pretty much. I'm gonna say that that counts as a yes. All right, let's use and there we go. Let's use that on everybody. It is actually gonna save me MP in the long run because that does area damage. So. Really, we couldn't have timed that any better, learning that dual tech. Down they go! 93 experience, 3 tech points, 150 gold, and a mid-tonic, which is always appreciated. 
Ah, Midtonics, man. Seriously, I just want... I just want the treasure chest. Are these new enemies? What were the last bats called? I don't remember. These are cave bats, so no, these are definitely new, because they were not cave bats before. Oh, oh, that didn't even look like it healed them. Seriously? Are you kidding me? Alright, we'll take on those two. And then Vash can take on the last one. Really? These guys are strong against physical attacks too? They're bats. Down they both go, though. Alright, let's use lightning. Just, just lightning it. I mean, lightning should be super effective, right? Nah, it's the same amount, pretty much. Lightning is not super effective against flying in this game. 84 experience points, 3 tech points, 120 gold. So yeah, sorry, sometimes my Pokemon logic kicks in when it shouldn't. And we get a magic scarf out of there. We probably should equip that immediately on... Uh, let's go with uh, Limea. What she got? The ribbon. Let's go with the magic scarf. Magic plus two. What does the ribbon do? Strike plus two. Uh, defender. I'm going to keep that the way that is. Keep the defender there. Um, because, to be honest, we're not using physical attacks, so we'll stick with the defender. Is there anything else here? It l I hate the caves that are like that. It makes it look like there could be a secret passage down there, but I'm pretty sure there are very, very few, if any, secret passages in this game. So I shouldn't be too concerned about that. What I should be concerned about are these four enemies. From here we need to head north because I did see a treasure chest here. We get an ether out of there. Not exactly sure how to go that way yet, but we'll cover that when we get there. We need to head south. This is pretty much the only way we can go, so let's go that way. It'll always work out best when we do that. Great, more roly-polies. Let's keep heading west from here. Once again, it's it's pretty pretty linear path that we can go across here, but we have more cave bats. Let's head north from here, then. We can go back pretty much into the last room, but we're in a new area, technically. I th no, we're not in the same room yet. And we've got another gin bottle that spits out more of these things. Damn you. So let's keep going north. Can't open that treasure chest yet, but I know you're there. And I'll try to remember that you're there, because I'm sure we'll be able to open it eventually. Okay, apparently there is water here, because I'm kind of always going um okay now the water stopped i don't understand you and your water game but i do understand your save point so i will heal up and save with that done let's go ahead and head up here because well there's a save point at the end of the dungeon i wonder what could be on the other side death to the mystics enemies of course of course what the hell is that thing I, it's like a werewolf. It's Hecron. That's all. That's all they're gonna give us. He is only weak against magic. So use magic on him. Pretty much what I've been doing this whole dungeon. We're gonna use antipode and lightning and tip. I don't know. I'm gonna go with antipode. They made that decision. Let's go ahead and stick with it. Pretty much not harmed by physical attacks. Uh, he does have 2100 HP, so you're going to want to keep that in mind, and yes, it's going to take me quite a bit to, to, to beat this guy. If you don't have Antipode, uh, just, just use, you know, the magic. <laughs> Fire and ice. But if you do have it, uh, feel free to use it. It is better than, uh, than the two attacks separately, combining it like this. You know, first he gets cold, and then you burn him up! I I don't know. I assume... Oh, he uses Cyclone and Water! Cyclone slash Water. I d that did quite a bit of damage. I'm not gonna heal right now, though. I'm gonna keep trying to use Lightning. Because, you know, it does, that does quite a bit of damage. Go ahead, try and attack. No. No, 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 no. no. Uh, we're gonna use Aura Whirl here. When he tells you to attack, do not attack. Just don't do it. Uh, he counters with a very strong attack when he does it called a uh, water wave, I believe, or waver wave. One of those two. 
and it does quite a bit of damage. So, yeah, brief counterattack break. Awesome. Lightning. Anti po. Yes, attack him. Don't, don't attack him while while he's in his counterattack pose. Just like uh, just like Xenogears with Ramses, he'll he'll destroy you. Don't let him do it. He goes with Cyclone of Water again, but we already healed, so it shouldn't be too bad of a problem. Same damage, pretty much. And let's go for Lightning again. And we can uh, go for it. Come on, get your turn. Feel free to spray it out all day. Doesn't even do as much damage because she's a water element. But you don't know, Hecaron. You don't know! I do love how in this game, water and ice are technically the same element as it should be. I've never understood why they were separate. Yes, indeed! Oh, crap. Okay, that's a huge physical attack that he just did. We're going to go ahead and use uh, Mid-Ether. No. Since now he's in his counter thing again. So we're going to go for Aura Whirl and everybody. And we're going to wait until that thing goes away. That little counterattack pose. Damn you. We cannot let that happen. Uh, you go ahead and use a, a mid-ether on Limea as well. It looks like she's a little bit low in HP. I did not mean mid-ether. Damn it. <laughs> Wasted a mid-ether for no good reason. Uh, um. Cyclone water. Damn you. That's okay. We are very close to, to finishing him off, though, I believe. Ah, oh, crap, he got into his pose again. That shouldn't count. It shouldn't count. I didn't mean to do the, the mid ether. Oh, but down he goes. So for that fight, we get 250 experience points, 10 tech points, 1,500 gold. Definitely, definitely a rewarding fight, even though I wasted a mid ether. Only the great mages who brought forth Lavos 400 years ago had destroyed the human race. Wait, 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 what? Lavos came in like 1999, not 600 AD. What are you talking about? The world would have belonged to us mystics. Grrr. And then he died. In the Middle Ages, mages created Lavos, the destroyer of this planet's future. If we go to the Middle Ages and take our mages, can we change history? We could use the gate at the fairgrounds. So we have our next destination in mind. We are to go to the fairgrounds. Yes, I am done here. We are definitely done here. And this will take us... Seriously? Vortex point apparently is right here, and you can you can make that jump. What? I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand, game. Let's just go into Kyra's house. Surely there'll be nothing in here that makes my logic brain hurt. The hell was that? Did, uh, look at all these books. Damn, Kyra. The hell. Is that a wrench I see over here? Anything in the clock? No. <laughs> this isn't Final Fantasy VI. There are nothing in the clocks. Is there anything over here? Um, I don't... I don't see anything. Anything in the fridge? Where's your dad? What's his name? Like, Taban? Something like that. I haven't seen him in a while. Did I see something sparkle? No sparkle sparkles? There is something down here, though. No, it's just leads here. Damn it! Kyra, your house... Is is not nearly as entertaining as as Vash's house with with the kitties. Doesn't seem to be anything of interest. Hey, what do you know? You have a mom. Oh, and a dad. Hey, what's up? Lara, Karen, Taban. Only care about their silly toys. Here's what we earned today. You're so thoughtful. What's up, dude? 